What's up, Scrappy peeps? Hello. It's Adele and Aaron from Inky Quill, and we're here with a bit of a bonus Scrap Stash Saturday video for you today because I missed last week. <laughs> so we've a makeup. A Scrap makeup. Stash Saturday. A makeup. Maybe not bonus, but makeup. Yeah. <laughs> So today I'm going through my scrap box and I decided to pull out this old punch that I had from, I think this may have actually been the first punch that I'd ever bought from Stamping Up years and years and years ago. And I decided to do some greeny turquoisey strips. That was all I knew. Is this like some sort of off off cuts box or something? This is my scrap box. Oh, right. So okay. whenever I use paper and I couldn't be bothered to a throw it out or b put it where it belongs it goes into the scrap box <laughs> but i've nice. been really good this is as big as the scrap box is allowed to be that's a very good idea yeah you proud yes, i am very proud yep. <laughs> so i'm going through and picking out any papers that have kind of turquoisey tealy hues and i just put them into strips now this was a bit of an experiment and I, I do like how it ended up. It was I, I wasn't quite sure, that's for certain. I wasn't quite sure where we were going, but we got there in the end. And if you can hear rustling in the background, Frida has decided it's time to chew the boxes. <laughs> Cheeky little bunny. So I'm just using my punch now to punch out different strips and trying to work out how long they need to be. This oh. is a 6 by 12 layout, by the way. Okay, we've jumped forward and we have, you seem to have done a few of them now. We have. So all I'm doing is using my oh. Scotch Quick Dry in my... A fine liner bottle. Rip. Yep, R.I.P. <laughs> it's no longer with us. But for this video, it was here. So I'm just sticking... I'm kind of mixing a greeny, tealy tone with a neutral. Just Oh, you've put a background on that. Yes, okay, that's cool. Yes. Oh. Nice. So I'm making it look like cut files when they're not really cut files. Oh, that looks sick. Yeah. So, and I thought it went because this photo is a photo of Aaron and Poppet um, while he's playing video oh. games. It's very cute. Oh, is photo. this the one in the melanoma? Yeah. yeah right. We call. <laughs> we need to explain that. So we have this giant brown bean bag, and it kind of looks like. A huge melanoma. <laughs> and it's filled with memory foam, so it doesn't act like a normal beanbag. It's it's very stiff. It's, it's like a lounge. Yeah, it's so, kind of like more squidgy as well. So yeah. so we call it the melanoma. <laughs> if you ever hear us refer to that, we're not talking about a giant mole. It is just our beanbag. Yeah. So what I did just then is I sprayed the background with water and then added a few mists, which um, surprisingly, including the lime green. Mm, okay, mm. that's a bit different. I know. This is what a very are you green doing layer. now? I'm just waving to it. You know, don't you do that to everything that you create? <laughs> no, what I'm doing is I put some water onto my fingertips and then dribble it over the um, dried mist because it's water soluble and then you wait a little bit and then you suck it up with paper towel and it does a little mottly oh, effect. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, right. it's cool, hey. And then you've got those, um, you're keeping the the paper towels then afterwards, yes, right? Yes, I use them for art journaling Okay. Cool. and our iCads. Nice. I save them up for our iCads. Yeah. We should do those again soon. We actually. should, we should. Well, talking about that, yes. Aaron is starting a new YouTube channel, Yep. which is exciting. Mm. If you're a member over on our Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, or on my Facebook page, Inky Quill, you might have seen his little trailer for Inky Beard. Mm. Inky Beard? Mm. Yes, I'll have to have some, put up some videos there soon. I've been trying to work out what I should do, uh, and I've started a Instagram and Twitter and all those guys. Uh, so if you want to head over there and a little bit of a plug there, you can head over and have a look and see what I'm up to. But I'm hoping to start filming some videos this week. I was going to film some this weekend, but it didn't quite happen. Didn't for quite happen. Reasons. We, I'm getting over a stomach bug, and yes. I may have passed it on as sweet you as know, I am. We share everything in this house, so we do. it makes sense that we should share. So we've bugs. had a really great weekend, <laughs> it's, and it's Father's Day, and, and we had yeah, to exactly. cancel all our Father's Day plans yeah. so that we could stay home. And it's, it hasn't been a great weekend, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Let's just look on the bright side. 
it's it's the weekend's over now. So <laughs> let's just think forward. So I attached my photo to a little glassine bag and I'm just trying to shove this little doily somewhere. I really, really wanted to use it and I managed to slide it in there. It's not quite the right blue, but it works. It does work in the end and it kind of forms the basis for my embellishment cluster. It looks a lot like that blue that's underneath it. The blue yeah, spray. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's similar. It's pretty close. It's just not as bright. So apparently I decided we need a bit of doodling. And I turned off the camera while I did that because I had to put my big ginger head in the way and I didn't want to block out everything that I was doing. So here I'm just going through my scrap embellishment box. And that was a piece that I had, um, I think I had stamped from a Scraptastic layout many, many moons ago. And I think it says time flies when you're having fun, something about that. So I'm just going through and finding anything that looks cute together. Cute. 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 If anyone watches Grace Helbig on <laughs> YouTube, you'll get that reference. I know what we're on about. So, so have you got like a ticket in there as well? Yeah, as like it's a, a bit of a ticket. You know how crepe paper always give, well, you don't know, but I don't the know, peeps, but I'm do sure you, you know how crepe does. paper always give those random little bits like tickets and like five cent little posters and very random things. And sometimes it's hard to use them, but I like to use them as layering because I find that sometimes the only, I find putting a five cent thing next to someone's picture is quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> You're only worth five cents. <laughs> so I'm adding to my little cluster down here and now it's ready to be stuck on. Sticky, sticky it um, on. Maybe. Sorry, oh, going. no, it's a tag. I can't. Oh, right. Okay. I can't non-twine a tag. <laughs> It's just unnatural. If it's got a tag hole, it needs some it's twine. Just un it's like going out of the house without pants. Like, it just has to be done. <laughs> it feels awkward without it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. What is that? Like a little tweak? Oh, it's a little something? leafy thing. Oh, okay. Yep, a little leafy bit. Yeah. Which I've been hanging on to. Because it's a Until funny colour. It's kind of like a fawn grey. Oh, okay, right. Which is not my new So it kind of like tone. matches the, the papers. Yeah, it yeah, matches right. the grey the greyish, the greyish, <laughs> nice. The grey beige, the greyish. <laughs> the greyish. I like it. Uh. Adding a couple of stars because I didn't feel like love harding this one up. I felt like starring it up, and I have been obsessed with these tiny wooden studio calico stars because I have them in my class, which I'm just finishing filming now. Um, and I've gone through a lot of them and they're my new <laughs> favorite thing. Plus these puffy hearts, which I absolutely love, which a beautiful subscriber sent me. Oh, they're, they're my two very new, colorful, aren't they? they cool. are, and they're very puffy and squishy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So they're my two new favorite things at the moment. So I think I decided to call this one best mates. <laughs> best mates. <laughs> As if you can see in me the photo Pop, there. Yeah. Just chilling. You see the photo there, Aaron's looking at the TV, playing video games, and Poppet's just keeping him company, <laughs> just sitting on the floor like a little guard dog. At the moment, the only thing she keeps company is the blanket we have on the floor for the bunnies. I made and, them a tent. Um, Frida and Poppet are now snuggling on that very blanket. Mm, if you follow me on... it's quite cold here. It is. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will see many, many a video of... Frida and Poppet on this blanket. <laughs> I, I draped a blanket across a little stool in the middle of the lounge room and made them a fort and they absolutely love it. Because it's still we're in spring now. Spring oh, yeah. has just sprung. Yeah, it's Winter's September. done. Right. It's now spring now. Yeah. But it's still quite chilly. We had the first day of spring was beautiful. And, and then, then we got it's been raining. We got plunged into rain and yep. coldness. Of course. Yeah. That's how it's it goes. The way it goes in Australia. It is. So I decided to add, because I had that gold title, I didn't really have any gold anywhere else, so I just added a few little arrows from the pack. Nice. Now it's done. Oh, have you journaled down the bottom I there? Have. Or was that me? Is this the <gasps> one where you. I did that? Yeah, that was that's the one right. you journaled on. That was nice. Yes. So my tip and challenge for you today is to use your punches with your stash. See if you can create some kind of cut files. If you don't have one that automatically prints out holes... You can, oh, that's me being surprised at lime green, I think. Um, <laughs> even if you just have a circle punch, punch some circles on a piece of paper, back it with another one and see what you can come up with. 
It yeah. looks really good. It has a really nice effect. Yeah, I really enjoyed I'll it. I like it. I like it too. Yeah. I like it too. So that's that layout done. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram, Inky Quill, and Snapchat, Inky Quill, and Facebook, Inky Quill, for a few more sneak peeks of things. Bye. Bye.